Today on The Pitch, part three of our exclusive look at Block Energy, launching today at North America Smart Energy Week. In case you're just joining us, Block Energy is a modular hybrid DCAC microgrid platform set to lead the clean energy revolution with the first utility focused business model for DER. With me today is Louise Ancomo, VP of Business Development for Amera Technologies, makers of Block Energy. Louise Ann leads growth and was instrumental in the development of Block Energy, taking it from an industrial product to the residential commercial launch of Block Energy just unveiled to the industry today. Thanks for joining us on the pitch today, Louise Ann. Thanks for having me. So today is the launch of Block Energy's residential commercial product. Um, and this is a pretty big deal because this is bringing utilities into a new business arena, right? Um, with Block Energy positioned as a capital asset for distributed generation. Um, plus, Black Energy has the backing of your parent company, Amera Inc. Um, so I wanted you to hopefully start us off by talking about the evolution of Black Energy from an industrial product, uh, like the one we saw in our coverage of the Kirtland Resiliency Project in the summer issue of Solar Builder, to the now commercial Black Energy liftoff design unveiled today. Absolutely, Chris. I'd love to. Um, utility assets, as you know, are generally thought of as industrial products. I mean, you think about the green box on the sidewalk, which is a transformer, or the central generation plants that, uh, that provide the energy we have today. Utilities really aren't used to thinking of utility assets as a consumer product. But in a distributed generation world, when assets are located near or uh, beside uh, customers' homes, those dynamics really change the market. Uh, think of the design of the Tesla battery. You know, you're happy to have that by, in your home, for example. So distributed energy as a capital asset is really a new space for utilities. And we're super excited to be able to lead in that space by bringing block energy to the market. Block energy is a first. It takes a traditional utility asset and transforms it into an aesthetically pleasing consumer product. Block energy delivers on functionality the system provides greater renewable content and higher reliability than traditional energy systems, and it delivers for the customer, sitting effortlessly in the residential landscape and even enhancing the environment. We're bringing a solution to the market that gives utilities the opportunity for the first time ever to own distributed assets at or near the homeowner's property. And this consumer product responds to current demands by utility customers for local, renewable, resilient power. But with Block Energies, utilities have a tool or system um, to deliver decarbonized, decentralized, de uh, digital energy, the three Ds that everyone talks about today, all the utilities are focused on today, with a new product that is also aesthetically pleasing and enhances the neighborhood. I really think it's a win-win for everyone. We've worked really hard to develop a product that's not a traditional utility product that sits on the streetscape as a utilitarian product, but rather we've created a product that delivers for the customer aesthetically. It can even be color matched to complement the exterior colors of your home. A great example of this is our new product project with Lennar South Shore Bay Development partnered with Metro Home Builders. Wow, so that is a pretty big deal, uh, your uh, project with Lennar. Um, aren't they one of the biggest developers in North America? Uh, I mean, guess, can you tell us a little bit more about that? They are one of the biggest developers and builders. They're actually both a developer and a builder in North America, and we are so excited to share the news with you today for the first residential development project featuring Block Energy that will be with Lennar and Metro Development. This project is part of a master plan community uh, called South Shore Bay. Uh, our community will consist of 40 new homes located in Florida, all powered by Block Energy. As I mentioned before, this is our first residential development and we've been super fortunate to work with Lennar and Metro. They have been powerful partners who really understand the market and as market leaders, both Lennar and Metro are also leaders in innovation. They have seen the value of offering local, reliable, renewable power to their home buyers. 
Working with Lennar and Metro, uh, who are so highly regarded in the market, really has been fantastic. Um, it's helped us ensure that we're thinking about all the aspects of the customer preferences and concerns. We're getting a deeper in-market understanding of what the home buyers want and also what developers and builders need from our partnership and from our system. We, we can bring this learning to utilities uh, to ensure that they're staying ahead of the needs of their own customers, both the builders and the residential homeowners. We, are see, we see great potential in continuing this partnership as we fully launch in South Shore Bay uh, with the new community development. Um, also, uh, Tampa Electric is our utility partner on this project and working with them has been extremely beneficial uh, as well. You know, being owned by one of the largest utility groups in the United States, Amera Inc., um, we evidently have a deep knowledge of utility specific needs but still having the opportunity to work so closely with Tampa Electric has given us even more insight into how this new innovative system can benefit utilities. You know, what's fantastic about this new system is that utilities can give their customers all the benefits of highly renewable power with advanced reliability, and it's a turnkey system for the customer. The customer hasn't, doesn't have to do a thing they don't have to select solar, they don't have to select batteries, they have no upfront costs, and they don't have to worry about ongoing ownership and maintenance. And with the weather in Florida, customers can really feel the benefits of the layers of redundancy that the Block Energy System provides, especially during storms and weather events. The Block Energy Platform delivers cleaner, renewable, reliable power for local neighborhoods. That's what homeowners, developers, and utilities are looking for today, and they can get it right now with Block Energy. We're also really taking a step forward to delight the customer with a new product they would never have imagined could be so well considered and well designed given its functionality. We're super excited that we've been able to bring the design and functionality together into one cohesive package with the relaunch of Block Energy. We think it's gonna be a great showcase as we move Block Energy from a concept and live demo into residential community installation environments. So what fascinates me is that you're approaching an industry that's been around for a hundred years and offering them a new technology. Um, Granted, it's been, you know, developed in partnership, you know, with Amera and, you know, the Kirtland Air Force Base, Sandia National Labs and Partner of Energy. Um, but it's still, I bet, an uphill climb just given, you know, the nature of, you know, utility business model. So has adoption been difficult? And can you just tell us a little bit about how that's going? Sure. So um, the fact is that even though Block Energy is delivering on some of the key trends that we're seeing in the market today, more renewables, local secure energy, higher reliability, features that customers are wanting today. The fact is that new products always take some time to enter the market as people digest the new features that are available and also adjust to the opportunities and the conveniences that they bring. The fact that Kirtland Air Force Base was so enthusiastic about block energy and that the Kirtland Resiliency Project, uh, that we're, what we were able to install that in 12 months, shows that there's uh, a real market appetite for this kind of platform, despite the challenges, and that at least the military are certainly recognizing the benefits uh, of, this, of the system. Also, partnering with one of the largest developers in the United States, for our first residential product also speaks to demand in the residential environment and huge potential for block energy in residential environments and beyond, to be honest. Notwithstanding that support from the military and from, uh, from the residential market, we do ex still expect a slower adoption early on um, and, and that will accelerate as the market learns more about block energy and its capabilities. Education of the market is key, and we're really focused on ensuring that utilities, developers, and homeowners have a clear understanding of the full benefits of block energy. Early pilots are also key to show the market how the platform performs. 
and we're excited to have the military installation already operating and, a re and also excited to have a residential installation on the way. At Amera Technologies, as an organization, we are really excited and really believe in block energy so much. We believe we're bringing to market a better solution for end customers and for utilities. And that is a pretty amazing combination. Once we have three to five installations built using block energy, for example, maybe Florida, California, New Mexico, my board of directors tells me it's going to sell itself. So we'll see. Has working with developers and builders changed your approach uh, to integrating block energy into a community development? Uh, it's refined our approach is what I'd say. Um, you know, this is our first opportunity to work in market on a real residential development. And there are definitely details that have been refined as we move from a concept prototype to a real commercial product. Uh, we're living those refinements now through this residential project. We're very fortunate to be working with such high caliber developers and builders. They are highly experienced and are helping us really as we work through the installation of this great new utility owned energy platform. We're addressing things like, where do we put the block box? Does the homeowner want the block box? And that's what contains the batteries and the controls on the side of the home, in front of the home, behind the home. You know, what works best from a functionality perspective and for ongoing maintenance to make it easier for the homeowner and the utility? And how do we ensure that we don't interrupt the build process and the customer purchasing process? These are very, very important questions that we're addressing as we go to market. It's very exciting, and with the help and experience of our builder and developer partners, we're tackling all of these real life items and through it, developing a very streamlined process. In terms of actual installation of the block energy platform in a community, the process is very simple. There are really just four touch points of interaction between Amera Technologies and the developer on an entire 120 to 150 day building schedule. So for example, step one. Step one is you need to upfront, you need to dig the conduit and install the wiring. You do that for any energy system that you're installing. Step two is we install the solar on the roof as soon as the roof is complete. Step three, we place the block box beside the home once the home is complete. And those are the basic three steps that play into the builder schedule. There's a step four, but that doesn't in impact the builder schedule at all. It's the installation of the supplemental generation and batteries that we uh, install in a community battery park. Those are the four points of interaction to install our block energy system in a traditional build process is really a very light touch and very streamlined. And we're seeing as we implement our first project that our assumptions on the ease of installing block energy and the steps to install it actually align with the reality of the market, which is very comforting. For the utilities and builders out there watching this right now uh, who are intrigued by Block Energy's launch and want to know more about the process of putting it in their own communities, uh, what is that process and how do they go about making a block energy community happen? Right. Well, purchasing a block energy system happens just like any equipment supply contract. It's that simple. It's a purchase contract between block energy and the utility who wants to buy the system. So the utility can choose any new residential development to install the system. And um, if they want, we can assist with identifying a developer or builder, or they can do that themselves, whatever is easiest for them. We're really working in partnership with developers and utilities, making the transition easy for everyone involved. Because of our deep utility background, with our roots coming from Amera Inc., we know what utilities need to service their customers well. That's why we've crafted Block Energy as a utility first product that seamlessly integrates into the utility's entire grid architecture and is also compatible with the coming grid evolution. So these are the steps to buying a Block Energy platform for your 
utility community. Step one, contact Ameritechnologies. You can contact us through our website, blockenergy.com, or you can email us at connect at blockenergy.com. Step two, sign an equipment supply contract, pay, pay for the equipment and take, take possession of the equipment. Step three, identify development to install the system. And as I said, we can work with you to do that if that's helpful to you. And then step four is really moving to installation together with a new build, new community development. And that's how a utility can get this rate-based distributed asset that delivers reliable, resilient, renewable, local power for its customers. The system is very much a win for all involved and we're thrilled to be able to share it with you today, Chris, and show you the newly unveiled residential block energy smart platform for the first time during North America Smart Energy Week 2020. Well, great. Uh, thanks for stopping by and making the pitch today, Louise Ann. Uh, and we look forward to all the announcements coming in the future from Ameritechnologies and the growth of block energy from here. <laughs>